hello everyone in this video we will see how to perform the edit operation so whenever i click on edit it is taking me to home controller and edit action so i'll write that action here simply copy this paste it here Here I'll say edit. I need to look for the record and pass it to the view. So I'll right click and say add view, edit. Now this view is a little bit different from details view. Details view was displaying the record, that's it. But this will give us a form with all the fields filled with the data and option for us to edit and save. So I have that form ready with me. That is edit department. Simply copy this. And I'll paste it here. As you can see that from this edit action, I'm just passing object of TBL department. The same object I'm trying to bind to this edit view. And I'm displaying department id department name and hod with a save button which is of type submit so i have a link which will take me back to the index page so i'll save this and execute it i'll also put a breakpoint on this edit So I click on edit, comes here, you can see the ID which is 1, say F10, it will find the particular record and that is testing and Jackie and I'll say F5. So I'm on this. Now what I want, whenever I make any changes like from Jackie to Jack and say save, you see that it is taking me back to the same action that is edit which will show me the same page so what I want whenever I say save it should take me to another edit which should perform update operation on database so what is it I'll do I'll simply copy this and paste it here this time it is going to pass the object of department that is tbl underscore dept the department is d now i get the department i need to update this so i can simply say oe dot entry of d dot state it will check the state of this object in my db entity object and it will check the state if it is modified it is going to make the changes oe dot save changes that's it this is the new way or the new properties given by your entity framework to perform update if it finds some changes it is going to make an update or else it will simply ignore that so once i update this i'll just say return redirect to action so I'll, i want to send it back to index so here i have got two edits one edit which will get the record for me and another edit which will update the record whatever I have made the changes. Now how does your compiler knows about these two edits? So let us see what it says if I execute this. So here I get the list, I'll say edit. It says that action edit is ambiguous because your compiler does not know what edit to call whether it is edit with int parameter or edit with object 
but we know that this edit is going to get me some record from the database whereas this edit is going to post some data to the database so i can differentiate this with the help of filters that is nothing but http get for this and http post for this that's it i'll execute this and i'm going to put breakpoints here as well as here if i say edit you can see that it will take me to get edit if i say jack and say save you can say that it is taking me to the post type edit five it should have changed jackie to jack so that's it this is how we perform edit operation in our next video we will see how to perform delete operation thank you very much